Today we will talk about add-on lenses for your smartphone. We will talk about what they do, why I love them, and also why you should maybe consider getting one for yourself. Hey, what's up guys? Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com here, the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today we will talk about add-on lenses for smartphones. And first of all, I would like to just very basically tell you what add-on lenses are, what they do and why they are so useful, and also why you should maybe consider getting one for yourself. All right, so add-on lenses are pretty simple to explain. They are small, tiny pieces of glass with different glass elements, depending on the add-on lens that you get and overall they will change the view and overall the image of your camera and when it comes to add-on lenses there are a million different options out there you could get a wide angle lens a fisheye lens a telephoto a macro and anamorphic and so on there are a million more options out there and each of those lenses will enable you to shoot you know different looking footage all right so how do you actually use add-on lenses properly Generally speaking, I would recommend that you put add-on lenses over the main camera of your phone. So if, for example, you are using an iPhone 12, I would put it over the main camera. So this is the wide angle lens and not over the ultra wide angle and also not over the telephoto lens. Some lenses will also work on those other lenses that I just mentioned, but you will definitely get the best quality when you put it over the main shooter of your phone. Because most of the time, the best quality comes just out of this lens. And in case you try to put a wide angle lens, over the ultra wide angle lens of your phone, you will more than likely have an image with a vignette. So just keep that in mind. And you know what's awesome about add-on lenses? You know why I love them? Well, they are in a way kind of like normal lenses for your camera and they will last longer than your phone. Well, at least if you take care of them. And this is kind of like as it is with normal glass for your camera. So if you invest into some of those add-on lenses, you could use them for years and you could use them over several different phones and that is awesome. So let's talk about some of those different add-on lenses that I just talked about in more detail. And by the way, all the lenses that you are seeing throughout this video are from the company SV Assets and they were kind enough to send these lenses my way. However, it is very important that you know that everything that I will be saying in this video is 100% my own and my true and honest opinion. I will never make reviews where a company tells me that what I have to say. So please save me those comments. And in case you would like to get some of their lenses for yourself, just make sure to use the link down in the description to save 20% off of your next order. And I also just wanted to mention that the guys over from SV Assets are super nice people. They are very down to earth, very kind, very great people, great customer support. And overall, I feel very comfortable working together with them and also their products are amazing. And in case you buy one or several add-on lenses from SV Assets, I would highly recommend that you also buy one of their cases. In the package, you do get one of these clamps and you could use this to just clamp it onto your smartphone. But when using a proper case, first of all, you always have your lens mounted perfectly and properly. And it's just a much more secure way of putting a lens onto your smartphone. I've tried this clamp and it works, but I just prefer the case. So yeah, that's just my opinion. All right, so the first lens that I would like to talk about is the wide angle lens. And this basically makes your field of view just wider. And this is what the frame looks like with a standard wide angle camera. And this is what the field of view looks like with the wide angle lens attached to it. And it's actually quite a bit wider. And I even think that the quality is almost better than with the ultra wide angle lens built into my iPhone 12 Pro. And that is awesome. And this is the awesome part about those add-on lenses that you will overall just get a higher quality image because you are always just using the main shooter of your phone. And as I've said before, this has the best quality. And I love to use these wide angle shots when I am using my phone on a gimbal. And I am using an iPhone 12 Pro plus case and a wide angle lens on my DJI OM4 and it can still handle this. And to be honest, you do have to balance it correctly and it's pretty much on its limit, but it does work and the results you can get, well, they are just very good. Next up, let's talk about the opposite to the wide angle. And that is of course the telephoto lens. 
And I don't know exactly what focal length this is. And it also depends on your phone and that focal length. But it's very comparable to the telephoto lens on my 12 Pro. And to be honest, I think the telephoto lens is the worst of the iPhone. I feel like I'm losing a lot of quality with this compared to my main shooter and also the ultra wide angle. But with an add on lens like this, you can get amazing results. And if you buy those super cheap add on lenses off of Amazon, you will always lose quality when you put them in front of your lenses because the overall quality of this glass is just very poor. And if you put this in front of your camera, well, you will lose quality. However, with these lenses from SV Assets, you do get amazing quality. Even if you just put them in your hands, you can actually, you can feel that this is high quality material and you can not only feel it, you can also see it in the final results. And before I talk about the anamorphic and the macro lens, which are more of the specialty lenses, I would like to talk very briefly about Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. We are the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking, and we currently have over 60 tutorials and well over six hours of super high valuable content that will step up your smartphone video quality a lot. We cover all the technical aspects that you need to know. We cover some creative techniques to spice up your videos. And we also cover the entire editing part on a computer, but also directly on your phone. And additionally to all that, we have about 10 more videos covering different ways to make money filming with your smartphone. So just click the first link below that like button to watch my free webinar where I shared the top five secrets to shooting cinematic videos with your smartphone. All right, so let's talk about one of my favorite lenses and that is the anamorphic lens. Some of you probably know that besides of YouTube and my smartphone filmmaking pro course, I am also a professional filmmaker. And as a filmmaker, I am of course very interested in shooting anamorphic. But building a rig that can shoot proper anamorphic is almost impossible to afford. If you want to get some decent anamorphic glass for your normal camera, you do have to pay several thousand dollars. But for smartphones, you can get amazing lenses for, for about $100. And that is freaking amazing. An anamorphic lens will basically stretch your image and will look very weird straight out of camera. But if you de-squeeze it in the post-production or in real time with, for example, Filmic Pro, you do get a proper widescreen field of view. And this is truly awesome. And with this little piece of gear, you can get a proper 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio that you usually see in the movies. So as you probably have already noticed, I'm really pumped and hyped about this anamorphic lens. And I will soon make a comparison video of this SV Assets anamorphic lens to the Lancy anamorphic lens that I have already tested a few months ago. But overall, I have to say that I'm very happy with the results this lens and basically all of these lenses give me. And as I've said before, the build quality is amazing. All right, and last but definitely not least is the macro lens. And to be honest, this is the lens that I was looking forward to the least. A macro lens is a lens that will enable you to get super close to your subjects or whatever you are filming. And when I say really close, well then I mean you can get really, really close. The focus distance with this lens is about two centimeters. It's like that close. And first of all, I thought, well, what the heck should I be shooting with this? But when I was actually trying it out, the results and the different views that you can get with this are actually amazing. And I am sometimes using macro lenses for my professional shoots, but just for very certain scenarios. But actually when I was using it with my phone, I kind of fell in love with this. And also it's super, super tiny. So you can basically always take this with you. And you know, I just like the creativity and the different field of views and the different views in general that you can get with a lens like this. But there you have it, guys. This is a quick overview over add-on lenses and why I think that you should maybe try them for yourself. Again, a huge thanks to the guys over from SV Assets and make sure to check them out. 
As I've said before, they are super nice. They have an awesome customer support and their products are amazing. Well, so that is almost it for this video. But before I'm going to end this video, I will show you um, several clips where I was um, switching between the different lenses. And at the bottom of the clip, you will always see um, which lens you are seeing at the moment. And the purpose of this is to just show you how the lenses affect the final image. But that's it for now and I will talk to you guys in the next one.